Hey everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be a sort of like a demo, I guess, or tutorial type of a video. I wanted to use all the items in this kit that came in the Sephora. What is this? The Bronze Bears All. Um, I had gotten this, uh, I think I got this a few months back. But I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys what came in the kit as well as just do a very quick and easy like bronzy type of a summary look only using the things that are in the kit so it is basically let's see one two three four five six seven eight eight items and so there are all the items on the cover I have everything taken out so you guys can see it but basically it comes with I'll just go through it really really quick it comes with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, matte bronzer in medium deep And yes, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> I'm going to put things back as I'm talking to you so you can see what it looks like in the packaging. Then it comes with the Becca Highlight in Opal. And I know like everyone's pretty much familiar with all the stuff that it comes with. Or you guys are familiar with all these um, products. But I just thought it would be a cute little video to make. Okay, the next thing is the Urban Decay Duo, and it's in Baked and Twice Baked. So you have a nice gold, and then you have like a really like dark chocolate color. Then it comes with the Tarte Contour Stick, or they're called the Sculptor, and it's in the color, what is this, Park Avenue Princess, I think? Yeah, Park Avenue Princess. So this is like a contour stick. All right. Next is the Bite Beauty Crayon in Madeira. The next is the NARS Lip Gloss in, let's see, Super Vixen. It's a really nice bronzy color. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it went on really like this color. I put it over the Madeira, but you no, know, obviously it gives you a gloss, but I don't think it's, I don't think the color comes off like how it's in the bottle. Let's see, then it has the Sephora Waterproof Crayon Eye Pencil in the color Cocoa. And then lastly is the Formula X nail polish in the color Evocative. And I actually have this on my nails today. I did my nails yesterday to show you guys what the color looks like. So that is the nails. So like I again, I used everything that was in this kit. That's what I did the tutorial on. This, the whole kit was $39, so I really think for everything that you got, it, this was a great way to test out higher-end products, and higher-end products that everyone's mostly familiar with. So like everyone, you know, the Too Faced, their bronzer, the Becca, their highlighter, obviously Urban Decay, twice uh, baked, uh, was it baked, I'm sorry, half-baked, is obviously a very common um, shadow. Uh, the NARS lip gloss, the Bite Beauty crayon and stuff. So it's a very good way, even if you don't get this kit, I'm sure you guys have, you know, these products in, ready in your drawer. But this is a very good way for someone who hasn't tried out any of these brands to try them out to see if you like them. So I thought this was a great deal. Stick around for the actual uh, tutorial. I just did the one eye so you guys can see and then the face just to save a little bit of time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I already got one eye done, so I'm just gonna do the right eye. So I'm gonna obviously zoom in with guys in so you can see it a little bit better. But I already primed my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I already um, went ahead and put on the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. 
Alright, so we're going to go in and I'm taking, this is the Makeup Geek, it is like the pointed crease brush. And I'm taking the Twice Baked, which is like the darker, like chocolate color. And I'm doing like that halo look again. I just, I really like it. That's what I've been really doing a lot. And so just putting it in the outer, like third, and sweeping it in. And then you're going to put it on the inner third. So you want to just put it on the outer and the inner, and then you want to bring it into your crease. And then like make like, yeah, like a, oh, a rainbow, an upside down U. But I think the actual term is called the halo, the halo look. And so you just keep darkening it to what you want it to look like. So you should have like that middle spot all blank. And then you're going to take a flat shader brush or a firm shader. This is the Sigma E57. And you're going to take the baked, um, half baked, which is the gold. And you're going to put that on your middle like of your like your eyeball. And that base of that blank spot. And you want to bring it over to like the twice baked shadow a little bit. And then we're just with any kind of a fluffy brush, I'm taking the Sigma Diffuse Crease, the E38. Just blend out the twice baked shadow. And just keep blending it. I blend it out quite a bit and try to bring it up so it's not such a harsh line. I left my brow bone alone. I was going to put, I tried the other day with the opal, but I didn't like the Becca opal highlight that came with this kit, but I didn't like it. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. Like I said, I just wanted to use all the products that came in the kit just to show that you can really do a whole complete look other than obviously foundation, but you know, like the normal stuff like mascara, but you can do like a whole look with the stuff that came uh, with this kit. All right, now once you got that, we're gonna take a pencil brush. I'm using the um, Sigma E30, and I'm gonna take that twice baked color again, the dark one, and I'm just gonna run that underneath my uh, my my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the eyeliner that I came with, and this is the Sephora waterproof eyeliner in the color Coco. And I'm just going to run this right on top of my actual bottom lashes. I tried using this the other day and I put it in my waterline and it did not like it at all. So I'm trying not to get it in my waterline so much as my actual, just the, the top of the like, you know, the lashes. And I'm going to bring it a little bit in the corner of the upper lash line. And just connect the two. This is a very creamy, um, creamy eyeliner. But like I said, when I put it in the waterline, it really didn't do any, too much in the waterline. And then I just think the little bit that I just got in it, it just, just did not agree with it. So once we're done with that, then we're going to go ahead and just do our lashes. And I'm just, you know, curling them. And I'm going to just use, you know, any kind of mascara, just two coats. Uh, top and bottom. Alright, once we have the mascara on the top and the bottom, I'm just going to take the Becca Opal with a just a very thin brush, a pointer brush, whatever you want to use. And I'm just going to go and just do the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm basically just putting on top of that like that half baked color. But I love the shimmer in the inner corner of the eye. I love it. All right, now for the face, we're going to take the um, Tarte, the Sculptor in Park Avenue Princess. And this is basically like the cream contour, but it's in a stick. Um, and we're just going to obviously, you know, just put it where you would normally contour. And I'm going to use, the other day I used the Beauty Blender. And oh, that came out all right. Um, I'm going to try... I'll try the brush that I did my, uh, with the BB cream. So I'm just taking a face buffer brush and just trying to use like just the edge of it. I 
And I normally don't really do the sides of my nose, but I know most people do, so I'm just doing it for that, but I really don't normally do that. And like I say all the time, I'm really not a big contour person. Um, yeah, you know, I do like bronzer and stuff, but I don't really like sculpt out my face. So that's that. And then I'm going to go ahead with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is in medium deep. This is a matte bronzer. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. And this is the Makeup Geek Rounded Blush Brush, but it's nice and small to get in that little area. So I'm just going to take it on the edge of the brush. And again, I don't like I don't like it too much, so I'm just going over the little areas that I went over with the with the cream uh, contour stick. I just use this to put color back in my face, but like I said, I don't really uh, I never really played around. Which I guess I maybe I should. I just every time I go try to do it, I'm like ah, I'm not going to spend the time to do it. But I don't really spend the time to like really carve out, like I said, my face. So that's that. Obviously, I'm not going to do any kind of blush because it didn't come in the kit. And I'm just, again, trying to stick to just the things that came in the kit. So the other thing was, again, the Becca, the Opal. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this on a big, like, fluffy round brush. And you guys know I'm very oily. But I want to go for more of a yeah bronzy type of a glowy look, so I am going to go a bit more heavy-handed on it than I normally would. And for the lips, they put in there the Bite Beauty Crayon in Madeira, and then I'm going to top it with the NARS. I can't even see the NARS. Super Vixen. Oh, it's a lip gloss and Super Vixen. So we'll put on the uh, Madeira first. So this is just with the uh, Bite Beauty Madeira lip crayon. And then I'll go ahead and go top it up with the NARS. I am going to add a little bit of the opal right on my lips, a little bit, right on that cupid's bow. Okay, so that's the final look. Like I said, just it's very easy, something very quick, um, very, sorry, I'm trying to make my hair look semi-normal. Uh, my hair is just a lost cause. Anyway, <laughs> uh, like I said, I just wanted to really stick to the items that came in the kit. So, very simple. Of course, you can do it a million different ways, you know, putting in other products, but I just wanted to keep it to the stuff that came with this set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Bye, guys. Mwah.